Looking to calculate your holding pattern entry or your bingo fuel time? Well, now there's an app for that. Hello everybody and welcome to another video review by thepilotreport.com. I'm your host, Len Costa. Today's video is all about the Hold Here iPhone application. Now this application is iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad compatible. However, the iPad version is not universal. So when you do use it, it will be in that smaller format. It's very simple to use. It has a great user interface. Now, uh, in just a moment in the user demonstration video, you'll see me struggling to use the application, but I'm not so sure that's a design flaw as much as it is me and my big fat fingers. Now, the application is used for calculating your holding pattern entries based on your inbound radial and your heading, and it will also help you calculate your bug out time to determine how long you can remain in that holding pattern based on your current fuel on board and your current fuel flow to tell you that you can hold for a certain amount of time before proceeding to your destination and then your alternate plus your 45 minute fuel reserve. It's an excellent value at $1.99. Why don't we go ahead and check out the application? So we'll go ahead and open the hold here application. The first screen you're presented with is the pattern, the holding pattern entry screen. Now on this screen there's multiple options. You're going to enter the option to enter your radial, the option to enter your heading, and the option to enter whether it's a left turn or right hand turn. In order to do so, uh, for selecting your radial and your heading, you'll use two fingers. Now in this example, air traffic control is going to tell us that we need to hold west on the 260 degree radial. So I'm going to rotate this uh, circle until the outbound is 260 degrees. Now I'm going to select heading and I'll rotate this through to show you in each example. So if I was on a heading of 048 to the VOR and I was holding on, a two, on the uh, 260 outbound, I would go ahead and uh, in this picture it shows me the green quadrant is highlighted. It's telling me it's a direct entry and you'll notice that the dotted line from the airplane shows you flying to the station and there's a short red curve showing you to make a right hand turn to enter the holding pattern in the proper direction. If you were flying from a different direction, say from a heading of, if I could get this, this is just my fingers not working properly on this. Go ahead and do from a heading of 217, you'll notice that the, now the, the holding pattern is a teardrop entry. This blue quadrant is selected, it tells us teardrop entry up top, and it also depicts a teardrop entry. So from a heading of 217, you would hit the VOR, you would turn, and you would fly uh, 230 degrees, 30 degrees from your own ear inbound, uh, and then you would make that right hand turn back in to the station. So one last example to show you in complete, we'll go ahead and be on a heading of 308. On a 308 heading, this would be a parallel entry. Again, it shows you up top, the parallel quadrant is highlighted, and it shows you a parallel entry. So you would fly to the station, you would turn outbound on the 260 radial, and after your one minute, you would go ahead and make a right-hand turn back into the radial intercept and make a right-hand holding pattern. Now, if you wanted to, sh to see what it would look like if you were doing left-hand turns, you simply click the left-hand turn button and, and follow the instructions just as I previously just, uh, described. So for bug out time, what we'll do here is we'll use some very simple math so that we can verify not only the application uh, is making sense but for, you know, for double checking here. So if I'm at a ground speed of 100 knots, the next field I'll enter in is my current distance from my fix, the holding fix, to my destination. So from my holding fix to my destination we'll say is 50 nautical miles. Okay, the next thing we'll say it's asking is what is your destination to your alternate? So from my destination, uh, my distance from my destination to my alternate is also 50 miles. The next option here is it wants you to enter your fuel in minutes, gallons, or pounds. In GA aircraft we'll go ahead and enter it in minutes, or actually we'll, let's see, sorry, gallons. Uh, currently, in the aircraft that we're um, flying for this application, we'll be going uh, 10 gallons an hour. So you're probably in, say, for instance, this is like an example for flying in a 172, 10 gallons an hour. I've got 30 gallons of fuel on board, 
And what it, the next option is, wants you to calculate the bug out time. So again, we've used my current ground speed of 100 knots, the distance from my current, uh, from my holding fixed to, fixed to the destination is 50 miles, from the destination to the alternate is 50 miles, I'm burning 10 gallons an hour, I've got 30 gallons of fuel on board, calculate my bug out time. Great, so there it is. You can hold for 75 minutes. Now the note at the bottom, I'll read it just in case it's hard to see, says if you leave the holding fix at the bug out time, you have fuel to fly to the destination, proceed to the alternate, and land within 45 minutes reserve fuel. Fuel shooting approaches and wind speed and direction is not considered, okay? So those items are not considered. This, was just, this is just a reference on basically zero, um, you know, zero wind days. So, is it accurate? Well, let's take for instance, if you're going 100 knots ground speed and you need to travel 50 miles, well, that's very simple. 100, uh, to go 50 miles at 100, miles an hour, 100 knots an hour will take you 30 minutes. So in this example, it will take us 30 minutes to get from our holding fix to our destination. Our destination to our alternate is also 50 miles. Again, that would be another 30 minutes. So when you calculate your fuel from, your des uh, from fixed to destination and destination to alternate, you come up with 30 minutes plus 30 minutes is one hour. The IFR required minimum fuel is 45 minutes after you've reached your alternate. So we'll take the 30 minutes to get to our destination, the 30 minutes to take to get to our alternate, plus the 45 minute fuel reserve, and that would equal one hour and 45 minutes of flying time. So, does the bug out time make sense? You can hold for 75 minutes? Absolutely. At 30 gallons of fuel on board, 10 gallons an hour, you have three hours worth of fuel. So if you take three hours and you subtract the 75 minutes, that's one hour and 15 minutes, you would have one hour and 45 minutes of fuel to fly from your, from your holding fix to your destination, your destination to your alternate, plus the 45 minutes. And we just did that math longhand, and you can see that it is correct, it's accurate. So, this application works pretty well, and it's a nice, it's a very nice interface, it's got a quick reference. All you have to do, twist the, uh, you know, twist your fingers around, put in your radio, put in your heading, bing, bang, boom, left turn, right turn, and you've got verification of what kind of holding pattern you're gonna use. Come over to the bug out time tab, Enter in your speed, your distances, and your fuels based on minutes, gallons, and or pounds. Calculate your time, and you're good to go. Because this app is not FAA approved. Calculations are accurate, but it depends on proper use in flight. What does that mean? Garbage in versus garbage out. If you put incorrect numbers into the application, it will only give you the data based on the stuff that you put in. So double check all of your entries. So there it is, folks. This application, I would probably give the user interface a three-star rating because you've noticed I sometimes struggle manipulating the uh, the heading and the radio. For some reason, uh, you know, no matter how much pressure I use with my thumbs, every now and then I can't get it to properly work. But for the, uh, for the ease of use and the quickness of the information that it displays to you, I would give it a five-star rating. So that gives us, with the three-star user interface and the five-star quickness of use, that will give me a four-star average rating here. So that's what I would rate this application at four stars. Now, to check this application out, actually, to go ahead and buy it, you can visit thepilotreport.com forward slash hold here. If you've enjoyed this video, please go ahead and press that like button. That would be greatly appreciated. Now, it's been a real pleasure sitting down and making this video for you today. I do appreciate you visiting and watching the videos that we have over at thepilotreport.com. Once again, this is Len Costa wishing you clear skies and calm winds. Take care, everybody.